Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to talk about is how to optimize your product listing and how to come up with some really awesome titled, uh, title tags for it, some really great bullet points for it, how to do those really hot images, and just basically pimp out your product listing on Amazon. So that way when people go to Amazon and they search Garcinia Cambogia and they find, they're going to find my offer because it's going to be ranking on top because I did this the right way and, and I got all the right bullet points and all the right keywords and all that stuff in there and and uh, they're going to want to buy it because I'm pushing all of the hot buttons. So this is very, very important. This optimization is what's going to help you rank on top of Amazon. So that way your listing is on top. This is going to help you rank on Google. And this is going to help you get a lot more sales. So very important. You want to make sure to do this right. So let's get to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a window right here. So right now I'm at the uh, website services.amazon.com, all right, services.amazon.com. And what I'm going to do is just log into my account by clicking the link at the top that says sign into your seller account. So let's go ahead and click on that. And as soon as you log into your dashboard, this is the window that you're going to see. Now we created a basic uh, listing earlier, you know, we we put up a basic title, a basic description, and all that. But we want to fix it up now and make it better. So what we're gonna do is let's go to where it says inventory, and then go down to where it says manage inventory. So go ahead and click on that. All right, and as you can see, this is our listing right here for Garcinia Cambogia. This is the one that we created earlier. So what I want you to do is go to where it says actions and click on actions. Now, underneath actions, what you want to look for is something that says edit details, edit settings, or um, or something similar to that. In our case, what we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says relist since this thing is currently set to inactive. So we're going to relist it, and that will let us change all the details for it. So relist is what we're going to click on. Otherwise, uh, look for edit details, and that should do the trick. So... And now I'm back at this screen, so this is what I wanted to show you. This is how we edit the information here, all right? Now, hey, if you recall earlier, I told you guys just to set this thing as like a fragrance or something because right out the gate, we didn't have the option to list it as a um, supplement. You know, that category wasn't showing for us on Amazon. And now that may be for a few reasons. If, if you go to list your product and the category is not showing yet, it may be because number one, you haven't verified your account. So they're going to restrict what categories you can do. So then what you want to do is just verify your account, plug in all your account details and, you know, send them the goods, you know, send them your product. And, you know, then at that point, yeah, they you, sh you may be able to see more of the categories. If not, even if after all that, they got your inventory and you still can't put it in the right category, like right now, I think I'm in what, like fragrances or, or candles or something. Let me show you how to uh, get that approved so that way you can sell supplements, all right? So here's what you can do. Let's go back to services.amazon.com. And what you can do then is go to where it says contact us at the top. Contact us. Okay, so where it says what program are you contacting us about, go down to where it says selling on Amazon. And click that. Do you have an Amazon seller account? Well, we do now, so we're going to go to yes. Right underneath here, you see you got these few different options. So this is what I wanted to point out. Do you see this? Click here to request approval to sell in an approval required category. You see that? Number three. So then what you can do is click this. So the reason why I'm showing you this is if the category that you want to sell in, if it's not coming up for you when you go to list your product, if it's just not showing the category, then what may be happening is that you may have to request to get approved to sell in that category. And it's really simple. It only takes a minute to do. In our case, because we're doing supplements and I'm dealing with a brand new account that hasn't been verified yet, they want me to request approval on that. So then what I'm going to do is I would go down here to what category matches it. And we're talking about uh, supplements, which is in the health and personal care category. So then we would just go to view requirements, click that. And I just want to show you this. And then if you scroll down here, do you see where it says request approval at the bottom here? Click that link. 
And then what you can do right here is you just basically tell them what products you're gonna be selling, give them your account information here, your email address, and then just hit the submit button. And there you go. So then they'll contact you and that is how you sell in those categories. So I just wanted to show you this. If you're having any issues and you're not seeing that category pop up, well now you know how to resolve it. You can try contacting them uh, and to apply for it, all right? Now after you do that, then what you're gonna wanna do is come back to here and now and now we're gonna change this stuff. So right at the, uh, the top one here, do you see where it says vital info? So the first thing here, let me just, zoom in here for you. The first thing they want to know is what is my product name. So this is probably one of the most important things uh, that you do. You want to make sure to put a really good product name in here. Otherwise, nobody's going to be able to find your product and nobody's going to click on it and nobody's going to buy your stuff. So for the product name, as you can see, you can fit 250 characters in here. And we came up with the product name earlier. That's really good. And we're going to you know, run with that. But I just wanted to go into a little more detail on this. So when it comes to the product name, you want to use up you know, all this space and really put up you know, a lot of good keywords in here. So let me give you an example. And think about the keywords with the benefits and, and things that people actually want to know. So let me give you an example here. And honestly, if, if you're trying to come up with ideas for good titles, this is one of the best ways. Go to Amazon, see what your competition's doing, and get ideas from them. So we'll give you an example here. Let's just type in something like ceiling fans. So what you can do is get ideas from them. So do you see how with these ceiling fans, just by looking at these, uh, I can see that people are very interested and wanting to know how big the ceiling fan is. So you see how like the second guy says 52 inch ceiling fan. The third one says 52 inch ceiling fan. Uh, then this one down below 42 inch ceiling fan. And then the other one 56 inch three blade ceiling fan. So that right there tells me if I was selling ceiling fans that I would definitely want to mention how big it is in the title because that seems like something that you know people want to know about ceiling fans is it gonna fit is this the right size that I'm looking for right so just by looking at these I can see that's an important thing also something else that I see that's a very important thing is the blades how many blades it has so do you see how this first one says five blade ceiling fan and then look if you go down this one says three blade ceiling fan right and then if you go down, this other one says five blade, then the next one says five blade, and then this one says five blade. So look, just by going down this list, I can tell that people want to know the size of it, how many blades it has, and you know some other qualities about it, you know, whether it has a light fixture on it, uh, if it has a remote control. Uh, you know, what it, what color it is. This thing says it's cherry stained oak blades. So do you see, just by looking at your competition, you can see what's important. So then, you know, if I was selling a ceiling fan, I could say something like, uh, you know, uh, the model of it, then I could say the super deluxe four blade ceiling fan with a dark wood finish uh, that is 48 inches long. You know, and so I mean that right there gives you ideas of what you can do. So as you can see, these guys are doing it right. How they got their uh, title really filled with lots of good solid words uh, that people are interested in, and, and you can see all of these are done pretty well. Like they really filled this stuff out. Now let me give you an example of some offers where people did it really really well, which is the Garcinia Cambogia, because a lot of the people who are selling Garcinia Cambogia are marketers and they know what they're doing. So look, here's another example. NatureWise Garcinia Cambogia Extract, Natural Appetite Suppressant Weight Loss Supplement. They say how many supplements are in there, 180 count, 500 milligrams. So you see just by looking this over though, I, I can get an idea of what people are interested in. They wanna know how many milligrams are in each of, of uh, the bottles. They wanna know how many, how long it could last for. You know, a few of these people are mentioning like 30 days. Look, this guy says 60 days supply right here, 120 capsules. So just by looking down this list, I'm going to see the things that keep coming up. 
So look, 75% HCA. This person says 100%, 75%. So I, I can see what's important and just be getting ideas off of that. Now, do you see how big and long these titles are, how they got all the good keywords in it? So again, what I do is I would just go down this list, get ideas from these people, and I just kind of take the best points from all of them and then just add in my own flavor, and that's how I come up with a really good title. This guy even got a star symbol in it, which gets your attention, so that's pretty cool. But let me show you, though, an another uh, like products where people did it really wrong. I just looked up body brush, body brush, and as you can see, a lot of these things are just really not that well done. Uh, they didn't really write anything. Look at this, Yerba Prima Tampico Skin Brush, one each. Kingsley Natural Bristle. Uh, Bernard Jensen Product Skin Brush. So you see what these are really boring, they don't really tell you much about it. Look, this guy actually did a pretty good job. He says, new skin brush, ideal for daily use or travel, includes pouch. That's a little better. But yeah, do you see where a lot of these are just, they didn't really say anything? Earth Therapeutics, body brush. Like, okay. Like, you know, maybe they could have said what material it's made out of, how soft it is, and how amazing it is. But uh, this is not what you want to do. Do you see how short it is? So with that being said, again, every product's going to be a little bit different. But you, you really want to just load in all your, you know, all those keywords and learn from what your competition is doing and put those in here. Now, the thing I will mention is that I like to put my keyword in first. Put the main keyword that you want to be found on Amazon for, put it in the beginning. So in my case, I want to be found for Garcinia Cambogia, right? So that's why I put Garcinia Cambogia at the front. Garcinia Cambogia, right there. So you see that's my very first keyword in there? So I said Garcinia Cambogia, pure extract, 1600 milligrams, 65% HCA extract, uh, all natural, and et cetera. And, and, if you, and it's also mine's made in the USA, and it's a 30-day su supply. So the thing is, too, is if you're not sure about the details of your supplement, you can just contact your manufacturer, see if they can give you any of the details as far as like how many milligrams and uh, how much HCA it has and all that other stuff. Okay, so next we got the manufacturer. Uh, you know, again, this is where we just want to put our company name in there that we're going to use. Blue Valley Supplements is fine. Works for us. Uh, brand name, same thing. We're just going to use that same company name. And, and if there's any of this information that now that you have, like the model number, what color your product is, the size, or any of this stuff, you would want to put that in right here. So what we're gonna do though is let's uh, go up to the next category up here. So now that we're finished with this section, we can go to the offer. Let's click on that.